got one here, it's got a grunt. Um, I think it could be a bottle cap. Because the golden mask does have a very distinctive bottle cap vibe about it. You know? Hang on. Crapola. It was telling me with a grunt, but that's fine. Yeah, it's just a piece of lead or melted shite. Okay, I'm on the wet sand, you can see here. Um, let me turn the volume up. I'm in multi-tone, so I get the iron, iron audio. Um, 18 kilohertz. So in theory, uh, my F19, which I've used a lot on the Thames, which is virtually silent, because this is 18 kilohertz, it will be the same thing. So I've, let's turn the volume right up. You, it's quite lively where I am on the Thames. But I'll put the volume up and then listen. Listen to this machine. Junk. Junk. Okay, let's give it a go. What is this? Okay, small piece of junk. But that was a nice, nice little signal. And this is my point. But this is a single frequency machine on wet sand, Paul. Get with the program, dude. Do you know what I mean? Single frequency metal detectors are obsolete. They're not. They never will be. And however many um, people insist that they are, they're not. And that's why I'm using them. Got a small shard of the past. Nice. I can't walk past these. <laughs> Was it you? Hang on. It probably was. No. No, it wasn't. There's a lot of targets here. Uh, you know, ferrous, non-ferrous. And at the end of the day, 1P, um, yeah, with the Tesoro, you can silence them. You can silence them with this as well, with a single tone if you want to. But I kind of like to hear the chaos, to be honest with you. It's really got a lot colder over the past 24 hours. It's a Saturday night here in London. Um, the Thames Park is full of loads of people going up the pub to get drunk, most probably violent, and then we'll start a fight or chuck up somewhere. Um, not me. I'm digging complete crap off of the foreshore. 
which is fine. 50p. I can go towards um uh, nothing. That's an old that's been smashing around for a while, very thin. Nice. I heard a good good tone in there amongst the chaos. You see? There was a good tone in there. You can't hear it as much um, as I can when I got it in the headphones. Okay, trashy. But we know the score. We've got to do the trashiness. Oh, bugger off, Tide. It's taking like forever to, um, to go out today. I'm hoping it's still gonna be light enough by the time it gets lower. Sorry. Yeah, I hope it does stay light enough because the tide basically has to go out a certain distance to uncover, or potentially uncover the, the better stuff. it out a bit. There's a good tone in there, see? Uh, I knew there was a good tone in there. That's an old bullet. That just explains or, or demonstrates, um, even though it sounded kind of weird, kind of grotty, it was, there was something there to be had. All in the audio. I'm going to keep on saying that. People are going to be going up on the forums going, that Paul Warren guy just goes on about the audio, the audio, the audio. But it is about the audio. Right, let's continue. Another nice piece. You can see down there, we've got a coin. It's gonna be modern. Yeah, 2p. 2p, oh, old 10p. That was a pretty good signal though. You could see it was on its side down there. Could have been anything. Okay, not sure what that is. It's quite cool though. Tight little one there. Might be a button. Buttons have a tendency to wash up on this level. Nope.
Koi Oh, Key. Okay. Got an old one there. Yeah, I can see Britannia. Yeah, I might be able to get a date off of it later. Fantastic. button small close button that is yeah small close button I do like finding these that came off of someone's clothing before I was born that's what I reckon that's crazy. <laughs> 